The lower house of parliament in France has voted to approve a controversial security law which has sparked protests across the country. The government wants to stop images of police officers from being published to protect them from potential harm. But critics say if approved, the law will impinge on freedom of information and media rights. Let's get more on the reaction from Brussels with our political editor, Darren McCaffrey. Darren, you know, some of these videos that we saw last night were quite shocking. So what does the EU have to say about this? Well, while not coming specifically on what happened in Paris uh, last night, they have uh, essentially waded into the row around uh, this new security law. And it must be said, issuing somewhat of a rebu rebuke uh, to it all, really. They talked about how uh, any new law should work on the principality of uh, proportionality and that it must reflect uh, the right of guaranteeing public uh, security and the protection of citizens. But also, Oliver, interestingly, it must guarantee freedom of expression and uh, of uh, journalism and the commission spokesperson uh, went on to say about this new draft law that it was more important than ever given the times that we live in uh, that uh, journalists can do their work freely and in full uh, security. So a reflection, I think, there to the degree of the reservations that some here in Brussels have about that new uh, security law. Many people uh, saying it points to some of the illiberalism that we've seen in other parts of Europe. And indeed, I had a chance to speak uh, to the leader of Emmanuel Macron's party here in the European Parliament, essentially the Renew Party, uh, and I began by asking him uh, whether he thought uh, essentially this illiberalism uh, meant that some of the critics of Emmanuel Macron in France uh, could say that they are acting in some of the ways uh, that uh, Brussels has described uh, as uh, acting in an illiberal, illiberal fashion. European values are uh, clearly stated in European uh, treaty. And we ask for independence of justice, uh, for uh, freedom of, uh, of the press, for respecting minorities, all kinds of minorities, to respect also the independence of uh, democratic institutions in a, in a state. Precisely. So, so in, in, some, in, France, some, in, France, in, in France, in the last few days, we've seen protests from journalists who argue this law discriminates against them. Uh, we feel that there is a Muslim minority, five million Muslims, who feel that they're under attack from the French president. I'm sorry, many of these same arguments could be, in turn, uh, turned towards Emmanuel Macron, couldn't they? So we have, uh, I am fully confident that the European Commission, in his annual report uh, related to the respect of rural flow in each a member state, the Commission reflect, uh, already reflected in the first report, and they will reflect in the annual report the way that each government and each political power in every member state respect uh, these principles of uh, rule of law. Uh, I, I am not now in a position to comment every day and every uh, single week every decision of a politician. We have an executive power in the, in the European Union uh, stated by, uh, by the treaty, which is European Commission. And uh, with this uh, regulation that we negotiated with the, with the Council, we empower European Commission, which is independent, to make uh, objective assessment. And of course, uh, there are other uh, tools that you have in the European Union. We have European Court of Justice, who also can uh, look whether the European legislation is respected or not. So uh, European Union is a, a land of uh, rule of law, and we want this rule of law to be, uh, to be respected. This rule of law mechanism is not against political uh, opinions or political decisions or about ideology. Ideology is with the politics and the people can vote or not vote a political party. But no uh, matter what ideology uh, you have, as long as you are in European Union, you should uh, commit to respect European values. And this is about uh, this mechanism. So, so, so do you have any criticism then of Emmanuel Macron's actions in the last couple of weeks? As I say, clearly a lot, many of France's Muslim population feel that they are being unjustifiably targeted by his administration. You know, in France or in another member state, as long as the justice is independent, and this is key in each and every member state, any citizen or group of citizens can go in justice and ask uh, to the justice to check whether the law is respected or, or, or not. 
And I think in France and in Germany, in, in, uh, in other member states, each citizens can go to the justice as long as we are confident that the justice is independent. And we want to see this in each and every member state.